through the positive side of this. See, everyone's going to receive from God. Those who reject God receive what they chose. Those who accepted, who not only heard but also obeyed the gospel, who suffered for him. God gives those who are afflicted what they have chosen, which is his son, Christ. The Lord's going to be the one who appears. It's the Lord himself who's coming back for us. So look at verse 7. To grant relief to you who are afflicted as well to us, as to us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven along with his mighty angels. Verse 10, when he comes on that day to be glorified in his saints, to be marveled at among those or all who have believed, because our testimony to you was believed. To those who God has considered and counted worthy of his kingdom, because we obeyed and because we suffer for him, we get to be with Christ, and Christ is the one who's coming to bring him back with him. Those who are worthy of the kingdom chose to live by Christ instead of by the world. And while we don't live with separation in this life, there will be that final day when we get to be with Christ. And notice the promise there, that of the word relief. He grants relief to the afflicted. That's a stronger word than just rest. We can often allow our bodies to heal themselves with a lot of rest, but we also have means to speed that healing process up. We might call that relief. A burn would eventually get better on its own. Our body would heal itself. But we have some creams and some medicines that will give that burn relief immediately. When Christ comes, our affliction, our suffering, we granted relief. Strong word. It means to set free, released from. So Paul, Acts chapter 24, he's in custody. And Felix instructs the centurion, the head soldier there, keep him in custody but give him some liberty. Same word. Give him some relief. From his chains. We will be released by this relief when Christ returns. 2 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 5, Paul uses this same dynamic between relief or rest and affliction. He says, Our bodies had no rest, but we were afflicted at every turn, fighting without and fear within. See, while we're afflicted, while we're suffering, it's difficult, if not impossible, to truly rest and find relief. But the day is coming when Christ comes. He will grant full relief to our suffering and affliction. I know we've said this at any number of times before the past two years. When we're going through difficult seasons, seasons of sickness or family sickness or whatever. We keep saying, I just can't wait for this to be behind us. I'm ready for this battle to be over. How many times have we now said that in the past two years? I'm ready for this to be over. I'm ready for things to be back to like they used to be. I'm ready for this thing to go away. We're looking at a day in the future on earth when we think our earthly problems will be behind us. What would change if we kind of flipped our perspective a little bit? And we thank God that he has promised us a day in which it will be over. A day in which it will be gone. We may never see it in this lifetime, but this is the day. The day he returns is the day this season will no longer have any effect upon us. Grant us relief.